We're here at the South Moose Mountain Shelter, the Spruce Moose. Spruce Moose Shelter, yeah. Near South Moose Mountain. And I've got Bob with a trail tip for you. We're going to talk today about how to properly do a bear hang. And he actually has a really neat way of doing it. What do you look for when you're hanging food, Bob? Look, look for a branch that's uh, at least 10 feet up and will support the weight of your food five feet out from the trunk of the tree. That's hard to find. You can use two trees and almost any kind of branch that'll snag your line. That's what we're going to do now. Nice. Yeah, it's not always easy to find a good spot for your bear hang, so it's worth taking some time to select the right tree. Nice looking rock there. When you do that, you gotta hide behind a tree. Almost. Alright, so what are you doing there? I'm just making a loop and a loop to hang it in. Cool. And, uh, okay. Oh, yeah, so now this is the side I need to haul up. So I see that you have the rope tied between the two trees. You basically threw the rope over a branch on each tree and we're able to extend a rope between the two trees and from there you have a loop in the middle that you were able to fasten your food bag to. Very nice. And what do you do when you look for a spot and how far from the tree does it have to be again? Uh, you want to be five feet from the trunk and that's not quite five but I can, I can show you. I can let this thing down. And how far from the ground do we need to have our bear bag? Oh, 10 feet. All right. And it looks like you can basically adjust it between the yeah. trees the way you have it set up. See, I hung it on this side and hauled it up from that side. I'm going to do the opposite now. The value of the loop in a loop is that. So if you find yourself in a situation without long enough, strong enough branches, right, this works well. Yeah. So I'll make a loop in a loop. Thing. Bring it up for me. That looks a little better, actually. Right, right. As far as getting it away from the trunk of the tree. Yeah, you're striking a nice balance between the two trees you have the rope extending between. And then it's just a matter of tying that rope around the uh, the twigs that are there yeah. on whatever tree you're choosing, right? Yeah, tie a bow. Very nice. And that's how you untie. Nicely done, Bob. Thanks for sharing your trail tip today. The more traditional bear hang can be seen thrown over this branch here. It's about 10 feet off the ground, not quite five feet out, but pretty close. You could see the difference between that and the hang that Bob did further down the hill there. There it is, out of reach of potential bears here at the Spruce Moose.